The Jackrabbits have built a stronghold in the state of South Dakota for recruiting high school players. And that continues with this latest class of signees. We start our recruiting in South Dakota. Uh, obviously, we try to sign the best student athletes for our signing class, uh, but we want them to be South Dakotans. And uh, this year has been a good crop for us. Running back Brendan Begeman from Harriet Selby is the all-time leader in rushing yards in South Dakota high school history. At a solid six foot two and 215 pounds, power is not an issue. Begeman accepted an SDSU offer after his record-breaking season. Yeah, definitely just the family feel and the, a good football culture. T area defensive lineman Reese Kirschenman spent most of his senior season healing a broken arm, but came back at the end of the regular season to help his team get to the 11 AA championship game. The dominant D lineman was one of the early verbals for the Jackrabbits. I was kind of just like testing the waters, going to a couple different schools, seeing what I liked. And then I went to the Jackrabbits camp and I really kind of fell in love with the school and the coaches and then I kept going at it because I didn't have an offer yet and I was seeing up my other options and then they offered and it's kind of just been the dream. Another T area Titan, Chase Van Toll, probably could have played almost any position he wanted to at the college level. He rarely left the field as T area's biggest weapon and the Jackrabbits see him most likely as a linebacker. Yeah, it's pretty fun, but it gets a little tired, but it's not bad. I like being on the field, uh, going to score a touchdown, kick the extra point, kick off, and then go play defense. The two young men from T, uh, Reese and Chase, uh, very good football players, you know, and excited to add them to our team. You know, uh, it doesn't matter what school you're talking about, seldom do you have two guys in the same list from the same team. And so really excited about those two guys, very dedicated to the game of football and have grown up in a really good program. Offensive lineman Will Papke checks in at six foot four, 260 pounds and still growing. The Rapid City Central lineman was all state caliber and was thrilled when SDSU came calling. Went to their camp this summer and uh, a couple weeks later they offered me and I committed within a week because I've been an SDSU fan my whole life. My dad played there but back in the 90s, I mean, it's pretty much a perfect fit for me that I can think. Dad, Carl, I coached Carl, his dad, and, and, and know the family really well. And that's one of my favorite uh, situations is to be able to have something like that happen. What a great addition to our program. In fact, he's from Rapid City. Uh, his family's uh, connected with South Dakota State. Excited about that. SDSU has a tradition of place kickers from South Dakota. Jackson Isaacson from Aberdeen Ron Colley could be the next in line. He was an all-state special teams player for the Cavaliers. Uh, obviously, um, Adam and Terry, he went there. And then just throughout the years, they've had uh, really good kickers. And I just felt like, felt like they've done a really good job of, of producing them. And, and uh, so, yeah, that, that played a part in it for sure. Our kicker, uh, Jackson Isaacson, uh, I've gotten to know known him really well the last couple of years. A very serious young man, uh, starting quarterback, uh, you know, potentially a guy just like Hunter Dustman to be able to do both, uh, but excited to add him. And Sioux Falls Jefferson wide receiver Griffin Wildy saw the most concentrated coverage of anyone in South Dakota last season and still put up some eye-popping highlights. His quickness and ability has earned the admiration of his coach, former Jackrabbit Vince Benedetto. He gets in and out of cuts so fast. I think the thing that separates Griffin and what's going to make him a really good college receiver is when he breaks down to cut, he gets back to full speed faster than anyone I've ever seen. And I think uh, the SDSU coaches will tell you the same thing about him. After I made my decision, it, it was such a big relief. Um, SCSU is where I want to be. It felt like home. So I really do feel I made the right decision. Griffin Wildey uh, speaks for himself. I mean, what a great career he's had in multiple sports, but specifically in football. And for what he and Vince Benedetto did for their program, win a state championship early like that is phenomenal. And, and Griffin will be a difference maker for sure for us.